Hello, I'm Dave Llewellyn. Here are your headlines from 7 Action News. The 15-year-old accused of a killing spree at Oxford High School is now charged as an adult. Ethan Crumbly faced 24 counts during his first appearance in court. He was then transferred to the Oakland County Jail. The prosecutor says there is a mountain of evidence to prove this was a premeditated attack. The charges include four counts of first-degree murder for the deaths of four students. Six other students and a teacher were injured. The Oxford Community Schools District issued a statement on the shooting Wednesday, calling it a horrific attack. The district says our entire community has suffered a loss that is immeasurable and the long-term impacts cannot be comprehended. The statement goes on to say our primary mission is to support our students, staff, and our community. To that end, the district says our focus will remain on providing care and support for as long as needed. Concern over reports of social media threats in the wake of the Oxford attack has prompted some school districts to cancel classes. That includes the Rochester, Bloomfield Hills, and Troy districts. Warren Consolidated is also closed, but doesn't say why. The Holly District will be closed uh, today and Friday as a precaution. We're told there will be an increased police presence when students return. Turning now to other news, Michigan's new cases of COVID-19 are soaring. In some areas, more than 20% of the tests are now coming back positive. The state is reporting more than 16,500 new cases over the last two days, an average well over 8,200 per day. There were also 358 more deaths, 160 identified in a review of records. The death toll has increased by nearly 1,000 in just two weeks. Here's Chief Meteorologist Dave Rexroth now with a check of your 7 First Alert forecast. Thursday we get into the wind, we get into the warmth, 52, but the gusts will go to about 30 miles an hour even in the morning. So uh, you'll notice it a little bit in the morning drive and even uh, throughout the whole day here, it's going to be pretty blustery stuff. Not much going on other than that. It's mostly cloudy. There might be a little bit of sunshine in the morning. 40 on Friday, we start to fall off already. Friday could be a little bit of rain and snow together there. We'll keep track of that. Saturday looks dry. Sunday, pretty good chance of rain. And between Tuesday and Wednesday next week, pretty good chance for snow. Oh.